happy Independence Day for those of you that celebrated in America. Everyone else, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to be covering all of the Independence Day stuff added in this update. They do this every single year, going all the way back to 2014. They drop this, and then usually the stuff in this update disappears. Like, I assume my outfit and firework launcher will be gone on Thursday when this update goes away. So in this video, we're going to be covering all of it, even though I did have to buy it with like my in-game money. So realistically, I think I should be able to keep it, but I don't think you do. But either way, we're going to fill up on ammo for this, just in case we do get to keep it. We can save it for special occasions. Well, with that being said, I did throw on this Independence Day outfit. And way back in 2014, when they released this update, the Independence Day special, they had the firework launcher. This was back on the PS3. But also, they had a firework that you could place on the ground. It was like in your grenades. They don't have that this year, or they haven't had it in several years. You could place it on the ground and run away, and it would shoot off fireworks. Very cool. I'm sure you can find it somewhere on the internet. They also have several Independence Day updates, or I mean outfits. Around. This is my favorite of them. I am going to save it as a custom outfit, so hopefully... Hopefully it will actually save, but I'm confident it's just going to go away. July, we'll put July 4th. Like I said, I know this video isn't for everyone because not everyone that watches these is from America. But those of you that are, happy Independence Day. Hope you're having a great day. And just everyone, everyone that watches, no matter where you're at, Make sure hopefully you're, you're having a fantastic day. I didn't even show you guys the outfits. That's the whole reason I went in there. And then we're also going to check out the two new vehicles. And then we're going to spin the lucky wheel, days. which we'll actually do that in just a second to see what we're going to be doing to earn money in this video. This one is going to be shorter than usual. I am kind of just short on time. The Spangled, Stripes, the Old Glory, and the Sporing Eagle. There is some things like you can do in-game challenges to unlock like the beer helmets and stuff. I haven't done any of those. It's just, eh. It is what it is. I'm just not super into doing the business battles. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let me get it where you guys can see it on the screen. You guys should see it on your screen right now. We're gonna spin this lucky wheel. Last time I spun it five times and whatever it landed on is what we did to make money in that video. This time I'm just gonna spin till we can get about 30 minutes of stuff, just depending on what we do. So I'm spinning right now. And the first thing I got on is source some cargo. That's pretty easy. We're at least gonna do one more wheel spin. What are we getting? What are we getting? Featured job this week. I don't know what that is, but that's what we're going to be doing to make money in this video. And usually I'm going to try to do three wheel spins, but I'm really short on time. I'm filming this on Independence Day, the day it goes up. Hopefully we'll be live in about four hours. This video edited, posted, rendered, all ready to go on YouTube. But before we do those two things, Source Cargo and the Featured Job, next week we are going to be finishing the Project Overthrow missions, the new updates missions. But well, there is two vehicles. They add them in every year, and I'm assuming they're going to get taken away, which is kind of a bummer, because I think one of them you actually have to physically pay for. One of them is way down on this list, and like I said, I think it's going to get taken away in a couple of days. This hurts my eyes scrolling down here. If I can find it. This one. So it's usually $700,000. It's free, which makes me think that's why it's going away. Monster trucking, it's amazing what drunken rednecks would call a sport. Raise your game in the Los Santos Road Rage Wars with the Liberator. Please note, this is a Pegasus vehicle and cannot be stored in a personal garage. Buy now, it's free. Doesn't hurt the bank at all. They also have a new motorcycle. Well, it's not new, it comes out every single year. I believe it's under the Southern San Andreas Super Auto Motorcycles. And this one I really hope I get to keep because it's, I'm paying 60000 for it. I'm going to fully upgrade it. How do I get it? I'll oh, buy. I'm going to take this one over to our clubhouse because we can upgrade it in the clubhouse. So we're going to check out those really quick and then we're going to do those two things. First and foremost, let's call Pegasus. I think I have the number saved. Yes. Oh, sorry, people. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? A monster truck. The Liberator is free. Thank you, sir. Your specialist so then it's going to put... We don't really use Pegasus a lot, but it is going to be station. somewhere on the map. And then we can go and pick it up. Looks like it isn't too far away. It's actually right by our 50-car garage. So that's not too bad. And we'll drive this over to our clubhouse. And then we're going to customize the new bike. The Sovereign, I believe it's called. And then we're going to go source some cargo and do this week's featured job, which I actually don't know what it is. And that'll wrap up this video. This is going to be a shorter one, like I said. We're going to be doing Project Overthrow in the next video. No wheel spins, but then the one after that, we're definitely going to be doing 
wheel spins for. I also just think I forgot to save the footage on my phone, because I use my phone to do the wheel spin, but I think I forgot to save the footage of it. So you might not have seen it on your screen, but hopefully you did. And this is it, the Liberator, very America-esque. Oh, I got cops. Can I drive? Uh, yeah, you can just drive over most cars. Ugh. I hope I can keep this. Not that we'll really use it a lot, because we won't. But it's just one of those fun cars, you know. It's cool that it was free. That's what made, really makes me think they're taking it away. Hopefully not, though. Sorry, guys. I'm done running things over for now. But we are going to go down to our clubhouse. It's way down in Del Piero up here. It's definitely not helping us get there quick, but it's fun. I'm gonna hit this cop on purpose, and then we're gonna become a VIP and cops turn blind eye. Actually, no, well, I'm fine. I don't think we need to do that. But we are gonna head over to the clubhouse. This is one of those vehicles that's free, so I think it's in the game for two more days. You might as well pick it up and test it out, especially if it's free, because we might get to keep it, but I think they're gonna take it away. It's one of those things that's fun for a couple minutes run around with friends and just drive around. There is other monster trucks in the game. But it's just one of those things. It's fun for a couple minutes, but it's really nothing crazy. There is another gun I forgot to show you guys about. Way back in 2014 when they added the firework launcher, I told you they also added fireworks that sit on the ground. They also added another weapon. And this one's actually been in the game this whole time. I got it a long time ago from the gun. The gun van. But it's an actual musket. You reload it all slow. It's a single shot musket. For some reason, it's registered as a shotgun. I want to find someone to shoot, but I don't have nobody to shoot. We'll bust it out again in a little bit. Maybe we'll use it for our source cargo mission. Let's go down to the clubhouse. We're going to go and call Lester so we can customize that bike. And then we're going to go and start a source mission. Lester the molester. Answer your phone, G. If it isn't my creepy silent friend. Remove wanted level. How can I, help? I wonder if we can just uh, ramp right over this one. Usually I have to go of course around. Not. You're in trouble and you need my help. No problem. Can I get over there? Oh yeah, you can. Easy. Obviously we're not gonna be able to take this in our garage, clearly. But we're at the location. We have our cool bike. We have our musket and our firework launcher. And let's go customize this new bike, the Sovereign. Very, very interesting. It's this right here. It's very Americanized. And there is some unique customization in the game this week for all cars. Oh, I didn't mean to drive it out. We'll just drive it right back in now. But every vehicle this week, you can add the Patriot tire smoke to, which is red, white, blue tire smoke. And you can also add the Star Spangled Banner horn. So you can, like, you know, honk your horn and Star Spangled Banner. So that's kind of cool. Can I cut? Can this vehicle even be customized? I wonder how much customization there even is. Because I probably won't be using this a whole lot, but occasionally Whoa, we will. Nice. Armor, let's just fully upgrade it. There isn't going to be a lot of customization. Can I get the... We'll go with the first one. We gotta get the Star Spangled Banner Horn, or Light Zeons. Already have the protection. We'll just go with the black... Actually, I think we should go with the blue plate, right? That looks cool. Transmission fully upgraded, turbo. So you can't even change the color of it. There's not a lot of customization on this. What with the speedways on both? Keep it basic. Should I make them? Should I change the color? Let's go red America, baby. And like I said, on every vehicle you can go with the Patriot tire smoke. I think it's only available this week. I wonder if I were to go put it on all of my cars, if it would stay on there or if it would go away. But that's this. That's the two That's new vehicles added with this week's update. And it comes out every 4th of July. I'm sure they'll do it next year, too. Oh, we got lost. What is that for? I feel like I've fully modded a vehicle before. Oh, probably not, because I never put a horn on them. I never put the custom horn on vehicles. Because I think it looks... Or it sounds stupid as, like, the basic horn. But watch this shit. America, baby! And if we want to do a burnout... Red, one, blue! I was gonna use our musket, but let's drive this over to our office. We're running there, and we're gonna source some cargo for one of our... 
cargo warehouses. It's something I, I do almost every day off camera just because it's not super exciting. And we're not selling. This wheel spin is specifically for sourcing cargo. I'm waiting to sell it. Like, I want to have five full warehouses when they go double money. So next time cargo warehouses double money in a couple of months probably, I'll have five full warehouses. You can literally make like 15 mil. So that'll be a crazy video when it happens. But right now, we're just going to source some cargo so we can... We technically don't make money from this wheel spin. But one day, when they're double money, this will pay off, if that makes sense. Just park this outside so they know what's up. Let's go in here. We're going to source, source cargo for one of our warehouses, and then we're going to jump into this week's featured job. Enter your office. Absolutely. I said hopefully these cars and outfits and everything stays in the game, but I don't know if it will, to be honest. If we're being real, I have no I idea. I always fill up on snacks. You got to, right? Hello. What can I do for you? I'm low. I'll take care of the food. You take care of the company. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. Have a good day. Okay. We're going to come right over here to our CEO office chair, something we don't really do a whole lot of in this game. Eventually, we're going to get the vehicle cargo, too, but we just don't have it yet. Access your desktop. Absolutely. Source cargo. So this is kind of where we're sitting. Like I said, I've been doing it a lot off camera. We have two warehouses that are completely full and two others that are semi-close. We're just going to let's go with the logistics depot over here. I always source three cargo, but I will tell you guys, if it's more than one package, like if I can get it in one package, like one delivery, I do it. If it's like three and I have to like drive in my warehouse, okay, drive back, drive my warehouse, I don't do it. I just find a new session. I do lose the 18,000, but it's worth it time-wise. Exit the ground. We already have our motorcycle outside ready to go. Hopefully this week's job is like something cool, like Patriot themed. I think that'd be really cool. Also, if you want to see more America, we just finished Assassin's Creed 3 on the channel. If, probably not into that if you're watching this. A lot of people aren't. But that's all about the American Revolution. The drop zone. It's going to be it's going to be three separate. I'll, I'm finding a different one. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm in a new source mission. Still sourcing three pieces of cargo. I'm not sure if this one's going to be one vehicle or if it's going to be multiple different packages. We're going to have to take several trips. Hopefully just one, but I'm not 100% sure. But what I do know is we're almost up to it. I drove our Merc bike all the way out here. And I'm going to attempt to use the musket. There's nothing out here, though. Oh, we just have to take this one Breaking Bad vehicle. That's all we gotta do. So there will be enemies chasing us. Shoot some fireworks at them real quick. America, baby! And now we just have to drive this less than a mile back to our cargo warehouse. Pretty easy, this one. Way better than taking multiple. I'm not going through the gate when I can just break through that. Like, big brain move. Let's go back. I will see you when I'm there, and then we're going to jump into this week's feature job. And like I said, I know this is a short video, but I'm filming this the day it's going live, and I still have stuff to do today. I've already, this is my fourth video I filmed today, and I want to do like four or five more, and I have to go to a family barbecue because I'm going out of town next week, so i got to stack up on videos. I'm going out of town for four days, so I'm going to prepare five days of videos just in case. It takes an extra day, and that's ten videos I'm going to get ahead on. But yeah, either way, this one's shorter. Next week's will be it, or not even next week's. This Sunday's video, the project overflow, will be over an hour long. Well, I was going to cut, but we'll, we might as well just keep going. We're almost there. We'll do this together. I'm going to go this way, though. It's definitely going to be quicker. Let's go if we can stay going straight. Keep our momentum going. And then from there, we will jump into this week's featured job. Turn right up here. We're almost there. We will pay Lupa to source more cargo. Anytime I source one of these, while I'm in the cargo warehouse, I just go ahead and pay Lupa to source more. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. Source cargo delivered. It got the best wheel spin. I was hoping we'd get an auto shop contract. If we did, though, I was only going to do one thing. Just because those take quite a while. But this one's filling up. We still have two full warehouses. If we combine them all, we probably have like almost four full ones. Yep. Source her, pay her 7,500 and she can source anywhere from one to three crates and she'll be back in 48 minutes. The video will be over by then, by then but I will see you in this week's featured job. 
Okay, so there's actually no featured job this week. I looked all down the Rockstar Newswire. There is several new things. There's a new Finders Keepers game mode in Free Roam. I sat in a Free Roam lobby for I still am in for like 10 minutes and I didn't get anything spawning in. It probably takes a while longer than that. But like I said, we are on a time crunch today. There's also the business battles bonuses going on, but no like featured job. So we're going to spin the wheel one more time and whatever we get is what we get. I'm spin it right now. You guys see it on the screen. Selling MC bike. I could not have planned that any better because we are literally in our MC business and it's a Hokuchu drag. We're gonna do this in a public lobby, so I could die doing this. Shitsu Hokuku Hokuku some drag. We own one of these, it's a house special works. They want we've done these on the channel before. Really you just customize the car to the customer's liking, which it tells you what they want in the bottom. And then from there we gotta deliver it, and if you deliver it without hitting anything, you get fifty thousand if it takes it obviously if you take damage the less money you get. Essentially, so we need sports transmission and we also need turbo. We're still losing money in this video, really, because I didn't get that good of wheel spins, and like I said, we're on time crunch. But we're gonna do this in the next week or the Sunday video of the project overthrow. It's gonna be a lot longer. So they want raising sun, they want new fairings, specifically these ones, and then they want a new fuel tank. The fuel tank painted seat. Perfect. This ain't my cup of tea on a bike, but. They want wires on their tires, which is down here. And all these upgrades are free. And we should get 50, it costs 10,000, but we'll get 60,000 if we deliver it with no damage to it. So ideally we want to deliver it, get the $50,000, move on. I want to make, oh, this is four miles away. And I want to make these videos longer. I want to try to make more money than we spend in each video so we can at least be in profit still. But this video is not that. This is just an Independence Day video showing off a couple of new features because they'll be gone in two days more than likely. And just to get something out for you guys. I'm trying to get really ahead on video, so this one's quick. But I'm done saying that. But either way, we have to deliver this to the customer. Luckily, this is the fastest bike in the game. If it had the How Special Horse, it'd really be the fastest in the game. We do have one. We use it for time trials, which I actually haven't shown in a couple of weeks. But they are on the wheel, I believe. If they're not, I'll add them to the wheel. Yeah, I love the Independence Day wardrobe. It looks sweet. The the new bikes, I mean, the new bike and monster truck. It's something I will, won't probably use again until next year. But it's cool that they're in the game. They should definitely let you keep them if they're going to take it away from us, though. Because that would... So yeah, I paid 60000 for the bike, and if I don't get to keep it, that's kind of BS. The monster truck, okay, it was free. One thing I should do really quick, because I'm probably not going to be playing until after these are gone. I'm going to go in my inventory, go down to ammo and then fill up all of my ammo, which includes my RPG. And then from there, we should have max RPG ammo. So we hopefully can... I don't think we'll be able to buy more after this week's update. That's how they used to. Like, back in 2014, they took it away after the... like, the month of July. But if you had ammo for it, you could save it. But if you didn't have any, then it disappeared. So hopefully they do it pretty similar this year. As you can see in the bottom right, we just lost 4,000 dollars off the price of the bike. So that's great. I thought we were just trying to take a shortcut and off-road, and I'm going to continue to, but I should have been more careful, because now the customer's not going to be fully happy, we're not going to get full payment. But like I said, I know this episode ain't really about making money. You think I would have learned my lesson, but I'm just going to do the same exact thing again. Just dodging the trees this time. I feel like I've made the same delivery out, like same spot multiple times. And right over here, you can hit one of those, the fence and lose damage, or a cactus. Deliver the customer's not going to be super happy. We made roughly 46000 so not awful. Like I said, on Sunday, this coming week, we're going to be doing Project Overthrow, and hopefully covering, in a second video, the Ill-Gotten Gains update. The, week, uh, the video after that, which will be a week from tomorrow, next Wednesday, because we're doing Sunday Wednesday is the goal. We're going to be doing another three-wheel spin, seeing what we get, and hopefully making some decent money then. And who knows, the, the the original heists are on the list, so maybe we'll spin on that and do the first heist. I don't know. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Happy Independence Day for those of you in America. I hope everyone else is having a fantastic day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.